Hey everybody, how is it going today? Today is... I don't even know what it is. Thursday? I think it's Thursday, May night. <laughs> like I don't even know. But, uh... Yep, it's Thursday. So, uh... Yeah, how is everybody today? Yes. I know, I'm coming to you a little bit later today. I'm doing my intro a little bit later. I don't know, this morning it just, I didn't actually think I was going to do a video today because it just felt like, I was it rained yesterday and, I don't know, I just didn't feel like it was much going on except the simple fact that the sun keeps popping in and out every day, or, or the sun keeps popping out. Okay, yeah, anyways, um, that's kind of what's going on today. Um, not a lot. Just, uh, just, well, I don't know. And, um, like I said, I didn't even know if I was going to do a, a video today because it just isn't much to do here today on a rainy day. And things are kind of slow. And I don't really want to bore you guys to death. And so, yeah. Anyways, I'm just working at, uh, just working at finishing up the feeding here, and um, yeah, so I'm not finishing up the feeding. I'm just finishing up feeding the young stock here. I just got a load of feed away from the cows because obviously, yes, we've been leaving the cows in and it's muddy out the cow body. So, but um, yeah. As far as what's going on around here the rest of today is I'm going to finish the feeding and then I think that I'm going to work on that plow some more and um, yeah, that's my plan is to work on that. Then I got to look at something on the TG210 there and on the back mission labor hasn't been working on there and I think it's just a burnt out fuse. And check the fuse panel and see if there's a fuse and um, I know we're gonna have to have them come back up too um, the air conditioner on there isn't quite it isn't quite working like it should so they said they would come back up next or Monday next week and they're gonna when it warms up they're gonna try to they're gonna check it honestly you know, I would assume they're not gonna charge anything for that and I don't think they will because it's supposed to be right when it's down there so but anyways yeah that's some of the things that i'm going to be working on here is that and uh, um, working on the plow here and then my brother he's going to go down to the new holland dealership down there because uh, we need to pick up that belt for the feed grinder and we're going to get some paint to paint that auger and um, what else oh yeah get some plow shares plow there too Anyways, that's what's going on. I gotta level that feed bunk out there, and then um, I don't. We'll get back with you later. See what, see what we get done. Okay, everybody. Um, I'm all done with the feeding or loading the feeder wagon and doing that stuff. So, and I started working on the plow here. Uh, I got these springs off. Like, we see where they're there on the ground. I got these off here, and I got this pin out of here. And you could just see all the rust in there, or on there. It's just full of rust. And, uh, yeah. There's definitely, that's why that was not taking grease. But, um, this thing is loose here. Or it was loose. Um, but I'm trying to pound this pin out here. I got the roll pin taken out of there. But, um, the problem that I have is it wants to, well, I don't know. I had to put the C-clamp on here because it wants to um, it wants to take and push this whole thing out and doesn't want to come out over here. So I'm going to take put some of this uh, rail of ease on here and see if I can do the job. And um, I just let's see here. Such a guy. 
Sorry about all the commotion here. Set you guys right there. Ah. Get you guys in here. There. Try and see if that helps. Ah. Ah. See if we get this pin knocked out of here. I hope we can. But I'm gonna, I'll keep working out of here and see if I get it out. If I get this out flipped around. Um, my brother, he went down to the New Holland dealership. He got back a little bit ago. Anyways, they said they can get this, but it's like, let me say 120, 120 some dollars for this piece. So I don't know. And we did get some plow lays. Um, let's see here, he had it. Oh, he shut his garage door. Well, he, we got some, we got some, uh, like the plow lays. It, 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 for the, they gave us some four bolt ones, and it turns out I guess they're five bolts, so we'll have to go. They gave us one five bolt one, so we'll have to go back, or maybe if the guy comes up to add Freon to the tractor here, we'll have to have him bring up some of these fives. So there's one, two, wait. Is there five? No, yeah, there's one, two, three, four, five. These are five bolt plowshares. So, <clears throat> so we actually have one plowshare that's right. He gave us four that were four bolt, and they're not right. So I guess you don't know sometimes until until you look. But. Anyways, I'm going to see if I can get all this off, get this piece here flipped around, and, um, and then if I, can get, if I get this done, I think what I'm going to do is, because this is hard steel, and it's just so hard to cut threads into it, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and clean this out, and then I'm going to take and um, braze this shut, and then I'm going to drill it back out and cut threads in it, because the brass will be softer than the steel, because this is very hard steel hard to drill it's hard to cut threads into it so there's more than one way to skin a cat so we're gonna work at this and see if I get it done okay um, I got this one done uh, I got this thing flipped around got this greaser facing out so now it can be grease but <laughs> this thing here I don't know I tried brazing the greaser onto it, the, the threads, I tried pounding the threads, the holes, the hole was just a little tiny bit smaller than the the threads and I tried brazing it on there but it just, I don't know, I couldn't get it hot enough, the steel is just so hard and it just doesn't, the, the brass doesn't want to stick to it. So um, I don't know, for now I just took the pin out, stuck some grease in there, I don't know, maybe you guys just going to have to get this piece new. Bite the bite the bullet and do it. Um, not a big deal. I'll just have to loosen these back up again. But for now, there's grease in there. You know, I I probably could. You know, I got it all cleaned out. I mean, I probably guy could take a needle greaser and get some some something in there. But um, I guess if we have to do that to get by for now, we can. But um, I don't know. It's just the steel is just so hard in there. It's such hard steel, so I guess, like I say, maybe if I could, you know, take a needle thing and get some grease in there later on. I mean, I got grease in there right now. It's, you know, I greased up it when I put the pin back in. So, anyways, um, but other than that, that this one is done. Um, now I come over here to this one here, and I got this loosen up this spring over here, and I took this out. But I guess I can't move that too much, but. Um, the main thing, I guess, I wanted to see if I could, yeah, see, I can move that, uh, but, you know, maybe now if I could, maybe now I could get this pin pounded out of here, but, I don't know. I'm going to try, see if I can pound that pin out. If I can't, I'm just going to go out and check that fuse thing on that TG210 and I'll finish this up tomorrow I'll, I'll see here but that's what I'm gonna do here
Well, I decided I was going to give up on that plow. I tried getting that thing loose on there and I just could not, couldn't get that one bolt out down there for that, you know, so I could grease that spot where it swivels down there. I tried, I just um, sprayed a bunch of that Royal E stuff on there and I'm just going to let it soak overnight and try to get tomorrow. But um, right now I just want to look at this, uh, um, just deal with the, with the rear windshield wiper fluid in here. Um, and then they said, let's see here. Excuse me, look at that seat. So you gotta pull the seat ahead. And then uh, they said, uh, sorry here guys. <laughs> he said it was down here. That's where it's supposed to be. Get some light here for you guys. There we are. Yep. I said it was down here. So, uh, let's set you guys here for a second. Uh, it won't stick to anything. Probably not. There we go. Uh, he said to peel this rubber up. Okay, and then and there's supposed to be a panel here. What's this? Some sort of a business card, some sort. Howard Lake, J Production Company. Once in Lake Nutrition, Charlie Peterson, dairy production consultant. Huh, maybe the guy that had this tractor before was a dairy farmer. <laughs> so, um, I'm assuming, I don't know, this is, uh, come on. There's something down here. Uh, just hold on a second here, guys. I'll shut you off here. I'll get back in just a second here. Okay. Um, yeah, I did find the fuse down there. And there, the fuse is good, so I don't know why. I don't know why the thing ain't working. Um, it's just odd that, that you could, when I push the thing, the, um, whatchamacallit, the, um, sprayer thing, you can hear that work, but the windshield wiper don't turn on, so I don't know why, the fuse is good, so, um, I don't know. So, I guess, hmm, well, I'll just put the cover back on for now. Oh, uh, I guess I'll we'll have to have it when the mechanic comes up here to add some more Freon here to the thing. He'll have to have him look at it and see, um, you know, maybe the, you know, it's the motor. You think if the motor was burnt down, it would burn the fuse out, so I don't know. Maybe not, but. Anyways, I'll put this, I'm going to put this cover back on. I'll get back and finish up the video here for today. Yep, I guess. Let's, see, let's have to have the mechanic look at it and see. Um, I guess they'll, they'll cover it. So if it, you know, I know the mechanic that they had it on the snowblower down there at the shop. And they said, you know, he remembers it working. So whatever happened to the back windshield wiper, I don't know. But I just like to have it working. They'll get it right. It's not, I'm not worried about that. But anyways, at least I know where the fuses are. I was trying to figure out where is the fuse panel on that thing. And then so I thought, I'm just going to call and ask the mechanic where it is. I kind of suspected it could be behind the seat, but I didn't know for sure. But yeah. Yep. So I better get going here. And uh, not a bad evening. 
the sun could just stay out again tomorrow. It was it was kind of spotty today as far as the sun coming out, but it finally cleared off here more towards evening. So I guess we'll see here. But tomorrow's another day, and I gotta get going. So I apologize. It wasn't much of a video today. I just I hate it when the weather gets like this because I feel like just it's just I don't know. If there's nothing boring stuff. I don't want to bore you guys to death with just nothing without action. I want to be out in the field and get some action in out there, but it's not really... What can you do? You can just play the waiting game. At least we got that reseeding stuff done. And um, the weather will get better. It will get better. Just have to be patient. Patient, patient, patient. Patience is a virtue. It is. That's the thing, but anyways, I gotta go, so uh, please like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on Instagram and Twitter at Organic Damon, and if anybody's interested in contacting me and want to send me a private message or something, you could do it through Twitter, direct message me through Twitter or Instagram. I do have an email. If you go into the About section on my YouTube channel, I do have a, an email there. It's a Organic Dairy Man. It's got two N's at the end at gmail.com so you can check me shoot me an email at that if you need to like i say just direct message me on instagram if you're on there um you could do that too but anyways uh thanks for watching hope you enjoy the video please thank you so much for ever or thank you everybody that's taking the time to hit that subscribe button i do appreciate each and every one of you and um <sighs> We'll see what happens tomorrow, and uh, that's all I've got for today. So take care, and I'll catch you later. Hey, girl. One more thing, guys, before I go. I forgot to mention, we had a little calf born last night. Yes, isn't she a cutie? Um, yep, she was just born last night. Nice little heifer calf. <laughs> but anyways, just so you know.